So this photograph is taken of a 994 digger um, in Ghana a few years ago, back in about 2010 or 2008, and it was taken at probably about 12 o'clock at night. What inspired you to take this particular shot? Because um, I normally do most of my large-scale mining photog photography, or a large amount of my, you know, large-scale mining photography at night. So we'd been cruising this mine site at Shirano in, um, in the western part of Ghana, which we were just talking about. And um, I came across that and saw that the scene was pretty good. So what we actually did was we got behind, because you want the light um, in front of you, not behind you. And then we, we used the digger bucket to get between the light and myself so that the light didn't blow it all out. Um, and then what we did, we got a, had a walkie-talkie or a two-way radio and then we were um, radioing back and forth um, with the digger operator to get him to hold the bucket in a certain place and that's how that photo came about. How did you feel about it? Um, I knew it was a good picture when we took it, yeah. So you, you don't see pictures like that very often so I knew once we once we executed well it was going to be a very good picture. What kind of eye do you have to have in order to be able to foretell how a picture of this sort is going to turn out? Um, it's a lot of experience obviously but it's also it's a bit like drinking wine. The more wine you drink the, the, the more you know your eye sort of and your, your palate I should say um, adjust to really good wines and that's the same with photography if you push yourself hard enough then you're going to you know you're going to keep getting better and your, your eye gets better and all of that sort of stuff